Step into my spectrum, it could be Till the beat at night Every shade of beat, every you and on streets painted in every tone Melanin, mosaic, every pigment known From ivory dreams to deep mahogany Human colors shine through our odyssey Mama said blend your rainbow into one Celebrate the shades until the night is done Turntable, spin stories at every skin Unity and contrast, let the love begin Hey, I apologize for this new introduction and this slightly silly song but it's a fun way to show you what are we going to learn today. And I'm also testing a new AI music application. Well, I'm a musician, but I can do all the songs for my videos. So I asked my AI musician bot, Hey man, please, I need a song about the human colors. It's the topic of my tutorial today. Crazy. No more than 40 seconds and I had my stupid song. Well. In my opinion, we are not yet realizing the power, the devastating power of AI. As soon as possible, I'll make a tutorial on how to create songs and voices and how to use them in our cinematics or video games. But today, let's take a look at how to color our metahumans and how to change their age, of course. So, let's get started. For the skin color and for the age of the metahumans, we need two parameters. Let's open the face material and the body material. To see the variations, detach the material window and put it near the metahuman. To change the color, we can play with the base color global multiply post back parameters. Look! To match the color on the body, just copy the new value and paste it in the body material. Done. For age, however, we can play with the strength of the normal map. The parameter is normal global strength post back. As you can see, the higher the value, the older the metahuman. Here too, copy the value and paste it into the body material. So let's reset the parameters and start to write the new code in the MH Base Crowd Blueprint. First, add a pin to the sequence node. Then let's create four variables: two floats, MH skin color and MH age, and two booleans, his old and S skin dark. Then you'll see what they're for. Drag the MH age variable into the heaven graph while holding down Alt to make it settable and add a random float in range node. Here I prefer a minimum of 1 and a maximum of 5, but you can play with them as you like. Now we have to set the boolean is old. For example, if the float MH age is greater than 3, is old will be true. We'll use this variable later because we want the older with the white hair. Now, let's change the material parameters with our random variable. Drag a reference of the face component and search for set scalar parameter value on material. Pay attention to this step. Open the face material. Search for the parameter we need. Right click and choose copy display name. Go back in the heaven graph and paste it in the parameter name. Finally, put the MH age variable in the parameters value pin. Then duplicate the node and insert body as target. Now it's time for the skin color. From the face component, search set vector parameter value on material. Drag the MH skin color variable into the even graph and set the variable with a random float in range. I prefer the minimum and maximum you see, but you feel free to play with these numbers however you like. 
Then split the parameter value pin and put the set MH skin color variable into the parameter values. For the parameter name we need to do the same thing we did before. Copy the display name from base color global multiply post back row in the face material and paste it into the node. Copy the node and put the body as target. Now let's set the boolean as skin dark because we don't want black guys with blonde or red hair. Here I was wrong, the right number is 0 0.3 because 0 is totally black and 1 is totally white or better, pink. Then add a branch node and drag the Hess Skin Dark Boolean into the Heaven Graph. If the MH skin color is less than 0 0.3, the Boolean is true, otherwise it remains false. It's time to randomize the eyes color. Drag into the Even Graph another reference of the face component and add a set vector parameter value on material node. Then open the eye material. The default material instance has no parameters for change iris color, so we need to open the parent material instance in the MetaHumans common folder. Open it up and search for iris color multiply. This is the vector for changing eyes color. Look. And so right click and copy display name. Then pass the name in the parameter name of the node. Then create a variable, another float, and call it RND eyes color. In this case I used three different random floating range for X, Y and Z. It gives me more color variations. I tried this method also for the body random color, but often the result was very unreal. Then put all the selected variables in their relative pins. Finally, we need to change the eye material to use the one which has the iris color parameters. Select it from its folder and put it into the right slot of the detail panel. I use only one material instance for both, for a crowd is not necessary to have two different eyes. It's time to test our work. The age and the colors are randomized. And now let's randomize the groom's color. To do this we basically need four parameters. Desaturation, hair melanin, hair redness and hair roughness. You can also play with the other parameters, but these first four are enough to me. So let's create four float variables, one for each parameter we need. R&D Groom's Melanin, R&D Groom's Redness, R&D Groom's Roughness and R&D Groom's Desert. Now we create three different situations with the help of our booleans. The guy is old, grooms white. For black and white guys, the guy is young. If he's also black, we want only dark grooms. Otherwise, we can have all the colors, black, brown, red, brown, and so on. So when the metahuman is old, we can use a float random in range between 
0.1 and 0.3 for the melanin. Remember that 0 is totally white and 1 is totally black. For the desaturation, we can use a float random in range between 0.7 and 1, where a value of 0 means no desaturation and a value of 1 means completely desaturated. Let's move on and see what to do if the metahumans is not old. The first condition is that the metahuman is not old but has dark skin. In this case, the melanin level must be a minimum of 0.9 and a maximum of 1. To be more dark as possible. We also want a low desaturation, for example, between 0.1 and 0.3. Finally, if the metahuman is not old and has no dark skin, for melanin I use 0.3 and 1. And for the desaturation, 0.15 and 0.35. The redness and the roughness will be the same for each type of metahuman. I did a lot of tests and in the end the values you see are the best for me. Redness minimum 0 and max 0.55. The roughness between 0.35 and 0.6. Now it's time to put all the values into the material. Create a sequence node and drag all the grooms we need. Create a column for each type of groom. We must have four different rows of grooms for the four different parameters we have randomized. So we need four pins in the sequence node. For each reference of groom asset component, add a scalar parameter value on material node. and copy the right name of the parameter we have randomized. And in the rows only change the name of the parameters based on the variables you are using. Do the same for all the grooms. Copy the entire first column with the correct parameter name. And then Change only the groom component reference.
finally put the right set of variable into the parameter value of all the nodes. And if you want, comment everything. And that's the final result. Cool. That's all for now, in the next chapter we will add weapons to our crowd, so stay tuned and if you like just follow me, it's easy. For the rest, enjoy life always and of course, ciao!